Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we're going to start in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. And I also going to show you in this video a very interesting uh, stock to flow indicator which is telling us that in theory right now or even if we would see here a play out of this rising wedge that we are still in there that we should buy Bitcoin as much as possible and of course as soon as possible because we are in a potential bottom area here and uh, we should go and reach our bullish targets very very soon here so the bullish targets are between 70 to 100k but that doesn't mean that that would be the top but at least we would go out of these uh, patterns and these price levels that we are in right now between 50 to 60k so it's going to be a very interesting indicator my friends and now we're going to start here first in the four hour time frame for bitcoin because we are still in our uptrend we are still in this rising wedge and the question of course is are we about to see a breakout to the downside which can take us again towards 50k or are we about to break out higher here like we are seeing for example over on ethereum and then start of course also to create new all-time highs here for bitcoin as well so in the four hour time frame everything is looking like that we could see new all-time highs here for bitcoin also very soon if we were able to break out through this resistance that we have currently at around 61k but of course if here we would see a play out of this rising wedge if we're going to see a big breakout to the downside we should target here the bottom of this rising wedge and that's right here at around 48 to 49 k to potentially then create here a big double bottom formation and then start again to head higher so in the four hour time frame in theory we are still in an uptrend and we're still waiting here for a breakout there are some warning signs since we have still our bearish divergence as you can see we have lower highs in the rsi but we are creating higher highs here in the four hour time frame so that could indicate that potentially we could see a breakout to the downside but based on the moving averages we are above all the important moving averages so we just have to be patient here my friends and wait until we're going to see a clear breakout and also confirmation to the downside or also to the upside to then put in a trade over on bybit and femex and keep in mind if you want to trade uh, bitcoin or ethereum up to 100x leverage bybit and femex are the number one exchanges if you need an account over there use my referral links down below here in the video description because they give you some bonus if you use my sign up links and now let's head over into the daily time frame because also here you can see that we are still above all the important moving averages and as long as the nine daily moving average is turned into green right here at our support of 57k we should in theory be trending to the upside and having this nine daily moving average as a support during our uptrend only if we would fall below 57k so below our support currently then in my opinion this rising wedge is going to play out and then of course we're gonna see here a fall down towards 48 to 49k again before we definitely bottom out and head higher and that's why i just want to show you right now this uh, very interesting uh, indicator it's called the stock to flow price levels and uh, in theory it's a very simple indicator it's just telling you where we are right now with the price action and where the stock to flow price levels are right now so here you can see this blue line this one over here uh, in theory this is exactly the same blue line that we also have uh, here with our stock to flow uh, model price chart you can see that this blue line is uh, where the bitcoin price should be trading at right now based on the stock to flow uh, price model and this is also here at around uh, fifty four thousand dollars and here also this blue line is more or less corresponding with this uh, stock to flow uh, model price level and in this indicator this blue line it's uh, the stock to flow price model uh, multiply by 0.67 from this uh, white line that you can see here so based on this indicator um, this should be the stock to flow price level here at 77,000 
dollars and this multiplied by 0 0.67 gives us this blue line that we are also seeing here where bitcoin should be trading at right now so with these two data we can also here based on this indicator calculate where the, the potential bottom could be based on the stock to flow um, price model and this is this uh, green line that you can see here right at the 200 daily moving average and this bottom is calculated by the stock to flow price model this 77k multiplied by 0 0.5 this gives us here a, a potential bottom here based on the stock to flow model and also we can calculate here a potential top for the current price action that would be this red line that you can see here right at the top and this is basically this white line here the 77k multiplied by 4 this gives us a potential top here based on the stock to flow price model right at $290,000 per bitcoin so with the data that we have here we can go a bit in the past and see if this indicator is also corresponding with the price actions that we had in the past so as you can see the bitcoin price right now is moving along this white line and sometimes we are dipping down to the blue line and in the worst case scenario even down to the green line and if we now go in past you can see that every time we went towards this blue line and this was always a very good buy opportunity right where we are right now we are also approaching here this blue line and that's why i'm telling you my friends if we are having another leg down towards this blue line at around 50k or maybe even have a breakout to the downside and fall towards this green line which is right here at 39,000 dollars where also our nine monthly moving average is lining up we should buy as much bitcoin as possible in this region down here because based here in the past it was always the absolute bottom and the best buy opportunity especially for the long term and here also you can see with this corona dump we came right down here to this green line and afterwards we started our parabolic rise up where we are right now and also here during the whole bear market after the top of 2017 you can see that the bitcoin price came always down to this blue and green line and this signaled always the absolute bottom and the best buy opportunity for bitcoin and if we have a look now here into the cycle top that we had in 2017 you can see that we reached here this red line which was also here at 20k so this signaled perfectly where we should take out profits where we most likely are overheating and where it's good to take profits to then of course accumulate again more bitcoin once we're coming back down towards these blue and green line so here in 2017 this was a perfect indicator which were telling you that you should take profits up here and then of course accumulate again down here between the three thousand and four thousand dollars and during the last bull market until we had this cycle top you can see that the price was moving here between this blue and green line so also here during this bull market of 2016 we were also trading along the gray and blue line sometimes we dipped down towards the green line until the stock to flow lines became flat afterwards you can see that then we started this parabolic rise up towards this red line but until then we just moved along these important green and blue lines until then we reached our real cycle top here in 2016 and 17 and if we go back in the past here also after the top of 2013 which were above this red line you can see that we overshooted here this red line we came above and then also here we started a huge bear market a huge correction which also brought us down back to the green and blue line where we also bottomed out and this was also a perfect buy opportunity for the long term because afterwards we started our parabolic rise up and the same goes also here for this first top that we had in 2013 we overshooted this red line this was a perfect sell opportunity afterwards we corrected down towards this white line 
and then bottomed out and started our next big parabolic run up towards again to reach this red zone so you can see that this indicator in the past worked perfectly and uh, we are right now at the same stages like we were during the last bull markets on the way towards our cycle top so we are right now again between this blue and green line if we're gonna see a breakout to the downside from this rising wedge that we are having right now in the four hour time frame then take it as a good buy opportunity my friends because if we will see here a breakout to the downside then in that case we are definitely coming down again towards this blue line and in the worst case scenario even fall down towards this green line here at $38,000 also where our nine monthly moving average is lining up and in my opinion if we would see such a scenario then this would be the absolute bottom here during our bull market and afterwards we will continue to go higher and higher because based on this indicator we are still far away from a cycle top and not even are overheating here the price too much because we're still far away from this red line which currently is here at two hundred ninety thousand dollars and even here right at 60k is still cheap to buy bitcoin but if here somehow we're gonna see this play out of this rising wedge and we're gonna fall again towards 50k take it as a good buy opportunity my friends based on this indicator we are more towards a bottom here during our bull market than towards the top so that's why i wanted to show you this specific stock to flow indicator which is telling us that we are are at the bottom and not at the top of our bull market and even here at 60k we are buying almost the bottom here on our way towards our real cycle top which in my opinion is still more about to come at the end of this year and not necessarily right now in april or may so let me know in the comment sections my friends what are you thinking is this indicator legit are we more at the bottom of this bull run and are those price targets where right now this red line is lining up currently at around two hundred ninety thousand dollars possible for bitcoin to reach maybe in the next coming month in my opinion yes but let me know what are your thoughts as well and now let's head over into the weekly time frame because I just want to update the 20 weekly moving average. As you can see, this important 20 weekly moving average is now coming towards 50K. It's right now here at $49,000. And Bitcoin during an uptrend usually always bottom out here at the 20 weekly moving average. So even if we will see this play out of this rising wedge, the $49,000, this 20 weekly moving average should hold as a strong support. Otherwise, there could be a scenario that maybe we could fall down towards $39,000 is also very important support level during an uptrend for bitcoin here exactly at the nine monthly moving average which is also coinciding with this green stock to flow bottom price level that we have covered in the daily time frame so if we are getting one last leg down towards a 20 weekly moving average or nine monthly moving average in my opinion that's really the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin before we're going completely parabolic and if you don't want to wait for such price levels in my opinion also here sub 60k is still not too late to accumulate more bitcoin because based on the stock to flow price model indicator you can see that we are still far away from a cycle top and buying here at 60k is still cheap so if we're gonna go again towards 50k and maybe even dip down towards this uh, 39 to 40k area i gonna go all in and buy as much as i can because uh, based on those indicators we are more at the bottom of this uh, bull market than at the top and i think as soon as the bitcoin dominance is starting to rise again because we are still below the 50 level latest then i think that bitcoin will outperform all the altcoins and then we're gonna see big explosive moves to the upside very very fast especially after we have seen so many altcoins going completely nuts and ethereum is a very good example for it as you can see ethereum is still creating new all-time highs day by day without any bigger correction and our next potential resistance point is the next Fibonacci extension level so after breaking this one over here at $4,100 the next potential resistance target is up here at $4,650 in my opinion we could reach this price level very very quickly we have still all time frames looking extremely bullish and also money flow is still increasing so I think a lot of money is still floating into Ethereum and this can of course fire up the price 
price a lot and this resistance here at four thousand six hundred fifty dollars could be maybe a huge one not because it's just the next fibonacci extension level but uh, based on these last tops that we had here for ethereum you can see that we have a clear resistance trend line up here and this is also lining up here at four thousand six hundred fifty dollars so maybe there we could face some huge resistance and afterwards maybe getting a bigger pullback down again towards the 9 and 20 daily moving average but that, of course, wouldn't mean that this is the cycle top for Ethereum. That could be just a local top afterwards. We could have a bullish reset and then continue our uptrend because I still think that Ethereum can reach very, very easily up to $8,000 within the next coming weeks and months without a problem, especially if Bitcoin is just going sideways or higher. So for Ethereum, I'm expecting here to reach now the next target here at $4,650. And of course, if we are able to go higher than that, then we're going to see big blue sky breakouts to the upside, my friends, because if we're going to reach this last potential resistance trend line here, then no one can tell you where we are heading to next with Ethereum because we are in no man's land. We have never been so high for Ethereum. And that's why I think it's very easy that we could reach also this 8 to 10K level within these next coming weeks once this $4,650 is broken. The last potential bigger resistance here for Ethereum. And another reason why Ethereum and also Bitcoin could start to really explode and go stratospheric towards completely new levels is because the DXY is still falling. And today you can see that we are potentially confirming this uh, new resistance here at $90. And if we continue here to plunge towards $89 or maybe even lower, that will be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. Because if the DXY is again falling, then uh, this will fire up the prices even more in several assets. And uh, here in the daily time frame, we are back in a downtrend. We are having now the 20 daily moving average as a resistance. So this breather that we have seen for the DXY here, in my opinion, it's over. And most likely we are about to head way lower here for the DXY. And that's why in theory now the crypto and stock market should profit a lot by this. And speaking about stock market, let's go over to Nasdaq because uh, Nasdaq currently is still here below this potential new resistance here right at the 20 daily moving average of $13,840. This was our previous support trend line. Now it could be acting as a resistance. But since we are cooling off here all the indicators and also we could get a buy signal today here for Nasdaq, uh, in my opinion, the chances are very high that we could come back into this ascending triangle and then hopefully also have a big breakout to the upside. That would be very, very bullish for Nasdaq and of course then also for the crypto market because if Nasdaq is able to create also here new all-time highs and have big pumps to the upside, that could also be a leading indicator for Bitcoin that Bitcoin is also about to break out higher towards new all-time highs without any further correction. But right now here for Nasdaq, we are still not out of the woods. We are still below this new resistance so we still have to wait here what will happen but based on my indicator the chances are very high that here we also could recover very very quickly especially if the dxy continues to plunge so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and of course check out all my referral links here in the video description they give you some extra money if you sign up to the recommended exchanges with my links and a big shout out goes to bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free here you have an all-in-one platform where you can connect all your exchanges to one place and do arbitrage and of course also run trading bots on them so you can see that the bots that i'm running now for almost a month are very profitable and if you want to try it out then use my invitation link down below here because like this you have the pro plan for 14 days for free and if it's paying out for you you can easily upgrade then to a monthly plan which is only starting by 19 dollars a month so you should get this money very easily back and uh, if you want to join also our great crypto trading chat here on discord 
then use the official invitation link that you also find in the description. And once you have clicked on this, then you go to the read first channel here and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And this is the place where you can also get access to my indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. I also have a live stream here on YouTube, but to get access to this live stream, you need to get a YouTube membership. So if you're interested, go ahead and sign up directly here through youtube so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye